Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jan and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make your own frame or cap editable to promote your art, posters or paintings. As you know, you can find these kinds of resources for free or by paying a, for a file or subscription or membership in sites like Freepik, Creative Markings and so on. Besides, you can find them on Etsy as well, and sometimes the price can be more affordable than the other sites. But in some occasions, you don't want to spend a penny on those sites. So I'd like to show you today how you can make it for free with a high quality and realistic result. Just using Photoshop. If you don't have experience with Photoshop, don't worry. Just follow my guide and I'll show you step by step how you can make it. And you will see that it's pretty easy. So let's get started. So um, I'm going to work with this image since pretty nice. As you can see, uh, this image uh, have a watermark to protect this image to be still from other designers. And uh, if you like it, you, you have to pay it, uh, for $43 for that. My idea is use it to do this. This is the final result of one of my designs I post in Instagram. Um, well, I'm going to show you what is the process to do a step by step. Uh, the first thing is click in the image and the next thing uh, is click here in open image in a new tab. Uh, the idea is to save this image. So click in the new link the new tab and try to save it click right click and save image as and the problem here is the extension of this file so does not work for us so I have to make an, a screenshot so I'm gonna make a screenshot here in my MacBook um, it doesn't matter that the image have a watermark so the new the, the screenshot is right here okay the next step is um, open a google site okay and uh, click in this option in this camera option search by image click right there and you have a couple options to do it is Put the link, the image, or upload a file. I'm gonna click in the second option, upload a file, and I try to upload my screenshot I took I took before. Okay. Google is search our image in and show me the results. Mostly the results come from the Etsy sellers and free pick and other places when they you can find this this photo to sell and uh, well um, the idea is to get the image in a in a high resolution with a water mark okay so i said this because uh, you can find many results with the same image but in a low resolution like uh, like here 390 this is a bad resolution is small you can get a pixel it so i wanted something like that but the problem here is the the images come from the free pick so i have to look in another result like a web company or something like that <coughs> this seems to be the perfect size Click right there. Um, this is a website. Uh, seems to be another to have another uh, mockups for the future. But uh, I'm looking for my picture. And uh, I found it right here. So I'm gonna copy this image. Move this. Right click open image in a new tab for copy 
in the new tab right click save image sorry copy image and i'm gonna copy in for a paste it in photoshop once you copy the image go to photoshop press file new file and immediately photoshop show you the size the same size the image you copied before that is great click here in create now i have to copy to paste the image right here so to do that control b or command d command b great uh, in this part in the layer options uh, there are two layers so i want to delete this one background and i'm going to name it here renamed this layer like a background I'm gonna make a copy of this layer because I need it later. To do that, Control J or Command J. And the name of this copy is gonna make is gonna is gonna be a reflection. And I'm gonna hide it for now with this option. Okay. So I'm going to put this, I have to put this uh, re rectangle shape right here. And later I'm going to put the, our design or print or digital design simulating this, this frame, right? So to do that, the option is right here. This option call it uh, rectangle tool, press here. And I try to fit in this um, in this picture in this frame. It's important don't use a stroke. Just fill, okay? Enter, and I have to put it better. So to do that, uh, I have to decrease the opacity to see the background right there and immediately I'm going to put command T or control T to transform this shape then right click distort okay and try to move the corners Double click or enter. Okay. Increase the opacity again 100% and make a copy of this shape on this layer. Control J or Command J. Okay. Click, right click here and raster size layer. Okay. This option. And name it like a uh, effects. Enter. Uh, inactive for now. Hide it for now. I'm gonna work with this rectangle one. I'm gonna name it different. Put it this name frame one. So the next step is convert this layer in a smart object. Right click and click in this option. Convert to a smart object. The next step is double click here. As you can see, they open uh, this shape in another file. So I have to put my design right here. So to do that is file, um, place embedded, and look into this, your design. So in my case, I'm gonna put uh, this picture this design I, I, I did before so double click or enter control T or command D or command T to transform this shape 
I'm gonna make the same process like I did before. Click, right click and distort. Okay. I try to fit the corners into the shape. Right here. Enter or double click and save this file. Command S or Control S. Go back to the, the, the main file. As you can see, they put the poster inside the, the frame. So now I have to, to put some glass here to simulate the frame like, like the real frame with a glass protection, right? So to do that, uh, after the, this layer, effects and reflection. So the next step is cut this. I want to reflect this part of the picture. So click in this layer reflection and control T or command T to move it and click in this option. Okay, now you can move it. The next step is right click here and looking for this option, create clipping mask. Okay, and immediately the, the picture in the top is inside the this shape okay the next step is um put together or merge together these couple layers to do that is click here and using control command click in another um in another layer but before to do that i i want to to reflect the glass so I can move it, click here and move the picture. I like this. Okay. Now I'm going to merge these layers, click in reflection and click using command or control in effects layer and control or command E to merge. After that, I want to make a copy of this layer. Control J or Command J. The first one I wanna make change the names. The first one I name name it as a soft light. And the second one like a scream. So the next step is go to the this layer soft light and change this option looking for the option called soft light and decrease the opacity and the next step is go back to the screen layer change this option and looking for the option called screen okay and move this these values as the, the way you want it the way you prefer. In my case, I'm gonna put it right here. Like that. Uh, I want to correct something in this thing. So, uh, okay. To make it seems real. And that's it. Okay, the next step is export this file. When you end it, the next the, 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 to do the next uh, frame is the same process like here, like I did before. So um, it's pretty easy. So when you uh, finished go to the file 
Sport and couple options Sport as Sports as PNG and uh, Sports in big quality and good quality. Write the name you you want it. Uh, this kind of this the uh, mockups are really useful for promote your art. Uh, you can check my social media. My username is yambi design in Instagram. And uh, well, uh, to do the next frame, the next frame, yeah, uh, it's the same process I did before. Just make it again. It's really easy. Uh, I hope you find this uh, video helpful. And uh, I see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much.